so here is a uh, Pentacus uh, dodecahedron. It has um, 90 bubbles. It's made out of six balloons. And I think, um, I think this is a great sort of balloon to make. Not because I would suggest you making it in front of children, <laughs> but it's, it's maybe a good sort of mental exercise. So rather than think of the end product, um, perhaps you'd like to, you know, look at this as a challenge for your balloon making skills. Um, let, let's just take a close look at what we have here. Um, the way this balloon works is, you can see that it's got a fairly complicated geometry, um, but essentially every point has either six uh, balloons meeting at one spot or five, okay? And so the reason why it's called a, a Pentacus dodecahedron is that, in fact, it's con constructed by making a, or thinking about a dodecahedron, so a regular dodecahedron, so you have pentagons all over the place, and then what you do is you subdivide each pentagon into five triangles. And so every time you see uh, a six um, degree vertex, that's where an original um, uh, vertex for the dodecahedron would be. And every time you see a five, like this one, that's where the center of a face would be. And so after a while you get to see the structure of, of the shape. And so if you look at, say, the top here, that would be a vertex, and then you see coming off the top would be a face, um, a face, every other one is a face. And so there's another face. And now, just in terms of my choice of how to construct it, it kind of turns out that what I've done is I've made a belt of pink around here. And so on top, you'll see a non-pink region, sort of this part, where it's got three uh, uh, blue lines here, and then you've got a kind of a mix mash of, of white, um, and then it's surrounded by a sort of a pink uh, loop. Similarly, if you look at there, it's the same thing, but now the white comes down this way, you've got some pink in there, but then it's surrounded by uh, blue, and so it continues like that. And so every, every one of the three combinations is there. Anyway, I'll try to post a video um, um, that shows how to make this, but, but, but essentially I think it's really not a, a balloon worth making except for perhaps just practicing your skills on how to make equal segments and a little bit of um, visualizing something kind of complicated in 3D. But uh, anyway, here it is, the Pentacus dodecahedron.